Hello friends, welcome to welcome to my channel. In this video, I will cover engineering mechanics, statics part, cross analysis. I will cover already example one solve. Example two or not, I will solve in this video. Question is the de determine the force in each member of the truss shown in figure. Indicate whether the members are in tension or compression. So this is free, free body diagram. Sometimes they may give free body diagram. Otherwise you have to draw the free body diagram. So here apply equation of equilibrium to the free body diagram. Summation of all vertical for equilibrium summation of all vertical forces it is equal to 0 and summation of all horizontal forces it should be 0. First we will consider horizontal forces because in horizontal force only Cx is unknown. So right side positive towards left it is negative. Summation of all horizontal forces of the entire truss in free body diagram it is equal to 0. So 600 Newton minus Cx it is equal to 0. So Cx is 600 Newton. You are, we are getting positive. So our consideration is correct. So Cx is compressive only 600 Newton then we can take the moment here this direction is this distance is 3 meter here also 3 meter so taking moment along C it's equal to 0 we will get a y value clockwise positive and anti-clockwise it's negative clockwise a y into distance is 6 negative is 400 into 3 minus 600 into 4 it's equal to 0 so a y value you will get from here divided by 6 so a y is 600 newton and it's positive so our assumption is correct it's compressive only then method of joint we will apply at joint a free body diagram it will come like this a y it's compressive so let this is tensile okay. f a d you can choose it at compressive also no problem FAD force along AB AB is it's also tensile and here slope given this is 4 3 3 square plus 4 square it's 5 square so so here A point we will calculate summation of horizontal forces and vertical forces they will become already a, a y value we got so in vertical direction we will get take first summation of all forces at a point in y direction it's equal to 0 upward is positive downward is, downward is negative so a y plus a f a b 4 by 3 into 5 it's sin theta let this is theta sin theta means 4 by 5 it's 4 by 5 it's equal to 0 then f a b it's equal to a y is minus 600 into 5 by 4 you will get minus 750 newton our assumption is tensile it's coming negative so it's compressive 750 newton compressive so change the direction f a b it's compressive and for force along a d we'll consider along x direction summation of all forces in x direction at a point it's zero rightward positive leftward negative so f a d minus f a b cos theta cos theta means 3 by 5 
थ्री बै फाइव इट विल बिकम जीरो एफ एड वैल्यू यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट एफ एड इट्स कल टू सेवेन फिफ्टी इंटू सो फाइव मीन्स यू विल गेट फोर फोर्टी न्यूटन एफ एड वैल्यू यू विल गेट फोर फोर्टी न्यूटन एंड इट्स पॉजिटिव सो आवर आंजूमसन इज करेक्ट इट्स टेन साइल ओनली इफ यू कंसिडर एट सी पॉइंट इट्स लाइक दिस सी वाई एंड सी एक्स सो सी पॉइंट इट्स डिफिकल्ट सो फर्स्ट विल डू डी पॉइंट ओके डी पॉइंट हियर विल टेक सिक्स हंड्रेड न्यूटन then f a d tensile here also here also it will tensile f a d already we got this value d point f d c whether it's tensile or compressive we don't know then f b d also whether it's compressive or tensile we don't know so any one we can choose it's positive it's tensile or compressive we'll take tensile if it will become negative then we'll change our direction if positive means our assumption is correct so here this theta value slope is given same slope you will get 5 this side 3 this side 3 this side 4 cuz this is 4 this is 3 So first in x direction, we'll do summation of all forces at d point. It's equal to zero. We'll take right side. It's positive six hundred minus f a d. F a d we got four hundred newton. Four fifty. Sorry, it's four fifty minus f b c cos theta means three by five. It's equal to zero. So F B C equal to thousand fifty into five divided by three. Sorry here six fifty. It's minus six fifty minus four fifty. We'll get one fifty into five divided by three. We'll get two fifty newton. This is positive. So tensile in nature. Our assumption is correct. Then along y direction, at d point, along y direction, upwards positive, downwards negative. So, F D C plus F B C, four by five, it's equal to zero. F D C, we have to calculate force on D C member. It's equal to minus. एफ बी इंटू फोर बै फाइव एफ बी वी गट टू फिफ्टी इंटू फोर बै फाइव विल गेट माइनस टू हंड्रेड माइनस टू हंड्रेड न्यूटन मीन्स आर आंजूपन इज रॉंग वी टूक टेन सेल सो इट्स कंप्रेसिव करेक्ट वन इज कंप्रेसिव सो इट विल बिकम लाइक दिस कंप्रेसिव सो हियर एट सी पॉइंट All are collinear, so if we say directly, you can take compressive because C X is compressive, no other force, only two forces, and both are collinear, so it's also compressive, six hundred newton, compressive in nature. So F C D also, it's equal to C Y, two hundred newton, compressive in nature at C point. For B point also, you just try. I am giving the hints. A B here at A point, it's tensile. So here at B point also it's tensile. F A B, it's tensile. And F C D, sorry, it's compressive. We got it's compressive. So here at A point, F A B, it's compressive. At B point also, F A B. It's compressive. F F A D is tensile. So this is tensile here at D point A D. So B point also it will become tensile. This is B point. 
सो फाइंड द थीटा वैल्यू एंड सी एक्स इट्स कंप्रेसिव हियर सो हियर आल्सो एफ बी सी यू विल गेट एफ बी सी इट विल कंप्रेसिव एफ बी सी ऑलरेडी वी गॉट 400 न्यूटन गिवन एफ बी सी आल्सो वी गॉट एफ ए बी आल्सो वी गॉट एफ ए डी आल्सो वी गॉट सो ओनली डिरेक्शन आई एम शोइंग हियर दिस इज एंड ऑफ एग्जाम्पल टू थैंक यू फ्रेंड्स थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग माय वीडियो थैंक यू